No, I don't like how it looks there. Oh, uh, sorry. Hi guys. Oh no. That's so fake. <laughs> Hello hey guys, it's Nina Sian Sanchez and welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing great. My ass is popping. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see my ass? Hi, please check out my ass. I'm wearing leggings. Hi. Oh, I'm hungover as fuck. I'm in the kitchen, you know, living my best life. So, um, I was thinking, why not just make banana bread? My question is, is this a banana or is this a little... BBC. So it's not a BBC. SBC. Yeah. I don't know. Is this gonna make me sick? Or is this like right? Listen, I'm a mess. I'm gonna make banana bread. So if you wanna watch a hangover, probably still slightly drunk, Dina. Um, all over the place, chaos, probably a little bit of story time and, you know, sexual realness, then keep on watching. <laughs> Thanks for staying. How are you doing? I look rough as fuck. I have my lashes and my liner from last night, but the red. Did you see me like the whole nail wet in my nostril? Um, I have no makeup on my face, so excuse it if I look questionable. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna be making it on the bread. Listen, I don't um know how to make it, so I'm just gonna put a video on YouTube and see how they do it there. But I'm not really gonna follow follow. I'm gonna do my own twist on it listen this is not my kitchen so i don't know where anything is i've been partying for like the last um three days straight um or gay whatever are you okay that i'm giving my back to you is this rude guys never complain when i give them my back oh my god i uploaded this tiktok the other day and it was like i refuse to have sex with guys in any position other than doggy style because i refuse to see a man happy the amount of hate, it was just a fucking joke. I even put the hashtag humor on it and like everyone was like, well, they'll be thankful not to see your fucking manly face, you tranny piece of shit. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just trying to be funny and quirky. This banana looks hideous. No offense. If your banana looks like this banana, you know, maybe circumcise it or something just to make it look prettier. Cause damn. But who am I to judge? I'm getting my banana removed. So anyway, yeah, I've been partying for the last two or three days. Went to a couple of after parties, you know, some illegal shit, but I'm a good girl. Believe it or not, I am a good girl. Like, no drugs were done. No drugs are in my body, you know, just silicon. A bit of alcohol. So I smoked for the first time last night. I don't know what happened to me. Someone said, yeah, do you want a cigarette? And I went, yeah. <laughs> It's disgusting. Like, I can still taste it in my body. Like, who am I? Why did I smoke? I don't like smoking. I don't like how it smells. I don't like the taste of it. I don't like kissing guys who smoke. Like, what if we just ditch the whole banana bread thing and we just eat this and chat? No? Okay. After the last guy that kind of broke my heart a little bit. <laughs> um, now I've been on the hunt for, like... I mean, I was gonna say a dick as good as his, but like, I don't think I'll ever find that. No joke, no cap whatsoever. I don't think I'll ever in my life. Come on, I'm 24, I've been in the market since I'm 15, and I've never seen one like that, so I just feel like either I start working for like monstercock.com or it's not gonna happen. Now, another thing is, what the fuck is half a cup? Like, half a cup of melted butter. Is this a cup? In my family, we barely ever use actual butter because it gives us acne. My auntie, my cousins, everyone. If we have like butter on toast, we usually get like spots in our face. My mom, no. My mom, not so bad. But the rest of us? Yeah, like all over. Ooh, that's cool. It was all melty, melty. Look, can you see? Hello, melted butter. Smells a bit funky. Now it's telling me like a third of a cup of granulated sugar. Like what is that? Who the fuck knows? So I'm just gonna add some sugar, you know, random amount of sugar in there and just call it a fucking day. I'm doing everything so wrong. But if this tastes out great, then it just goes to show that if you love what you do and you put love into it, then it all just turns out amazing. 
This video is sponsored by Fanta. <laughs> Do you imagine? Fanta, you better fucking pay me. Fanta, come through. See, this bitch is using two different bowls for everything. I cannot be ours. So she said all-purpose flour. This one is self-rising flour. But that's okay. No difference. Then she said a cup and a third. So I'm just gonna do a cup in a bit. So I'll just go like this. Let's call this a cup. Now that's a lot of flour and then a bit. So, woo, that's a bit. Wee. Okay. She said a pinch of salt. I have this little thing that I stole from a restaurant the other day that just says salt. So I'm just gonna add that. And again, just call it a fucking day. Go, go to town. Woo, oh, that's a lot more than I thought. Then she says baking powder. Oops. For all the transphobes out there, if this turns out badly, then you can say, that's right, men can't cook shit. And it will be okay. It will be okay, because, you know, I've got an excuse. <laughs> mix well, you better mix well, because if you don't mix, your son might be gay. Hey. <laughs> I'm giving transphobe and homophobia realness in this video. You guys, I hope you understand that it's all jokes. It's all fucking jokes. Like, or is it? <laughs> Someone needs to take alcohol away from me. I, I am truly still drunk. I can just feel it. I feel it in my womb. And apparently, if you want it to be amazing, you shouldn't overmix and you should just fold. So... Let's do some folding and talk about life. Apparently a lot of the guys that follow me on Instagram don't know I'm trans. And I don't know how, like, have you seen my pictures? It was trans day of visibility the other day and I'm like, if you didn't read that, like, I mean, I know you're a guy and like most men can't read, but. <laughs> Honestly, like some people don't know I'm trans and listen, I take it as a compliment. Like, oh my God, am I that girly and that cute that you think? That I, I'm cisgender, it's sweet, it's cute, you know, thank you so much. But like, I'm super, as you can tell, openly trans. And it's awkward when they're like, God, are you wet? And I'm like, no honey, that's diarrhea. I'm lactose intolerant. I went to an after party the other day and there was a couple of guys in there and it did get awkward because like some of them kind of fancy me a little bit. And it's like, if you only knew, I'm only here for the drinks and the chats, like... Free drinks, fun. Um, if you wanna fuck me, it's a no-go, bro. Like, I mean, not saying that they wouldn't like it, cause I've never really been rejected. Guys, play this like crazy manly portrait to the world. Not saying that you're not manly if you're dating or sleeping with a transgender woman, but it's not all down to like fetishes. Like a lot of guys happily would have sex with me and that doesn't make them homosexual do you know what i mean but it's this they're so scared and i'm like why are you scared poo like who cares who you're sleeping with why should your friends know and if they knew are they your friends if they're gonna judge you like i'm sorry but if my friends turned out to me and went like oh my god you ate pussy and i'm like yeah am i eating yours Can we talk about that? Am I eating your pussy? Then why do you care what I had for dinner? Do you know what I mean? I could have eaten pussy yesterday. Was it your pussy? I could have eaten a pig. Was it your pig? I could have fucked a dad. Was it your dad? <laughs> do you know what I mean? Honestly, friends should support each other. I mean, obviously, being honest, I'm not gonna support you if you're gonna murder someone. But like, when it comes to sex, let people live their lives and do what they gotta do. I'm definitely not using the folding method here. I am overly mixing and proud, you know? You can be an over mixer and proud. Also guys, the whole after party situation, I know that like you know. I think most people know that if you're going to an after party, there's gonna be drugs involved, but I'm not a drug type of girl. I would smoke a joint, not fully. I would give like three little hits to the joint and I'm like passed out, yeah. But like a lot of people expect, do I look crazy? I think I do look a bit crazy, don't I? I think if I saw me from the outside, I would think, girl, this girl takes everything. Check her arms, see if there's any bruises. <laughs> like I would. But um, no, surprisingly, I, I, I'm not a drug type of girl. 
and like all these people are and sometimes in after parties it hits like because obviously we have the 10 p.m now it just went to 11 p.m curfew now because of covid miss rona but um so i'm bored you know i don't want to go home at 11. i'm living my life i don't want to be home alone and bored so if there's an after party going i'm in but like i'll have a drink or two and then i'll be like where's the guest room i'm kind of sleepy it's like 2 a.m it's at that point it's always like that time you know 10 11 12 1 2 at 2 everyone's like hi dina you're so pretty yeah should we make out <laughs> And I'm like, no, I'm okay. No fucking way. Did I have to preheat the oven? Why do you only just tell me now, bitch? I have to grease my baking pan with oil to avoid bread from sticking to the pan. I'll do that now. I don't have a flat one like everyone uses. I just have a round one, so sorry. Well, that's fun. This should be my job. I'd love to brush people with oil like this. Isn't this fun? Um, my camera got cut off. Don't know why. Um, I forgot that I wanted to add the walnuts on top, so I just put them on now. I am going to clean up this mess. I'm going to put it in the oven for 50 to 52 minutes, and we'll be right back to see the result. Wish me luck. Okay, you guys, so it's been a little while. You know, it's been an hour, actually. Um, I do have to say I didn't put enough oil on the sides, so it did break up a little bit. But, like, how cute is this? You know, am I a master chef? And yeah, now I'm going to cut it and have a slice and see how it turned out okay so it's really yummy this is my verdict i'm not gonna show you how i eat i just got really tired all of a sudden it's the first time i like fully eat something today it's got really tired it looks really good on the inside i did break it a little bit just because you know i'm a bit messy i should have put more oil in the pan i'll just remember that for the next time but it's really really yummy um yeah, I'm super proud. I'm gonna post for the thumbnail. Wait, I forgot. Mm. Cute. Okay. So, um, yeah. I really hope you guys enjoyed making banana bread with me. Banana. Is this bread? Banana whatever. I really hope you enjoyed, you know, a good catch up and... Yeah, a bit of a mess, to be honest. I'm actually just... Probably gonna go to sleep now. A quick nap moment. But yeah, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And uh, I post videos every Thursdays and Wednesdays on this channel. Don't forget to follow my Instagram and my TikTok. Everything will be linked down in the description of the video. So, you know, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys. I'm gonna enjoy my banana bread with my peach ass. Bye. <laughs>